used to being famous. I think so. I'd never get used to it. I'd never think it was real. Do you mind when people stare at you? Depends. On what? What kind of stare? How about like this? That's a nice stare. He has to stare forever, no matter what. He just has to keep staring. The price of telling tall tales. Hans Christian Andersen, born in Odense, April the 2nd, 1805, published his first volume in age 22, was considered a lunatic by much of the community. Died in Copenhagen, August the 4th, 1875. That's very impressive, if accurate. Oh, it's accurate. My father said I was compulsively accurate. I never make mistakes on facts. Is that to the good? I don't know. It just is. My father said we all spend too much time wanting to know the good or bad in things. He said some things are. They just are. Didn't he tell you that? No. I didn't make it up. He did say it. I don't question it. He rarely said anything to me. I did most of the talking. He knows the third secret. The third secret? My father said everyone has three secrets. The ones they won't tell people, the ones they won't tell themselves. And? That's the secret. You're the nicest adult I ever met. Except my father. And you're the nicest non-adult I ever met. Except... Except who, Alex? Who? My daughter. My father's dead. So I like you best now. And I you. Why? My daughter's dead too, Kat. Do I remind you of her, Alex? I'm sorry. You do a little. Am I anywhere near as pretty? We're both beautiful. It's all right. My father didn't get them all either. I bet you copied them as you wrote. Never. Honest, I didn't. I just remembered things. I'd write part of a line from Shakespeare on the wall in front of the house. The next day, my father would sneak down and finish it. We never told each other, but we knew. Then he stopped. And then you started to finish them, Alex. How did you know it was me? I watched you. You always walked along the river before your appointment with him. You never missed one. Till now, never. It's early. It's late. Please. Before we go. My father... He didn't... Please believe me. I believe you, Kathy. You do? Then you'll tell everyone, won't you, Alex? They'll believe you. I'm afraid not. Kathy, I've been to the police. Been to your father's colleagues. I can't even get the names of his patients. I've tried. I know them. You know them, but your father oh, would... he wouldn't dream of telling me. But I knew anyway. You see, he'd always leave his mail in the outside hall. His outgoing mail. Mrs. Ells took it to the corner. How could you tell what... he was writing to it. Kathy, your father probably had correspondence all over the world. But every month, the first of every month, there were four letters. He wrote four certain letters the first of every month. Didn't he write one to you every month, Alex? Of course, a bill. Right, and I remember the names and addresses. I remember them. That's enough, isn't it? It was one of his patients. I know who they are. I know their names. Isn't that enough? Go home now, Kathy. Isn't that enough, Alex? It's enough. Shall we meet you tomorrow? Yes. Thank you, Alex. I'll bring you a list of the names.